The thoughts and opinions shared by Dave and Juan are theirs, and theirs alone. I feel foolish having to say that, because, let's be real, who else would claim this stuff? And let me be clear, I am not their father. This is Dave and Juan. One more time. <laughs> Welcome. Junior year. Third episode. <laughs> That's a way to think of it. Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, they, say, they say junior year is the hard year. So let's see how this works uh, out. My senior year in college lasted about four years. So um, that's, 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 uh, that's, that's a lesson for the children. That's, uh, <laughs> I've got, I've got two in college. We didn't say who you are, but by the way, I'm Dave. And I'm Juan. And this is Dave and Juan. More time, and the professionalism is coming back. It, it's tight, dude. It's, yeah, yeah, I've got yeah, I've got two in college right now, and and uh, I'm hoping that four year used to be four years, right? College, you know, if you didn't flunk out or any four, because I know what it costs now. I'm like, hey guys, uh, cut cut me yeah, a break. Mine here, is dude. actually yeah, one of or uh, I have one in college. Uh, and he is at the beach for spring break at, you know, a super spreader event in Florida. Rough living, rough, yeah. <laughs> rough living. I have my, my oldest, um, talked to him last week and various, I forget how it came about. And on Tuesdays and Thursdays, he's uh, going with a couple of, couple of girls and a guy or two to a Zumba <laughs> class. I didn't, I didn't know. I didn't know that was still a thing. If it is a thing, you have, you have a, I keep thinking Zumba. I'm ever thinking of the wrong thing. Zumba back in, but Zumba, was, I think, is like aerobics style uh, exercise, but with dance. Um, that's that's be funny to watch. So anyway, he was he was a little. God, he's kidding about it, saying it's kind of embarrassing. I'm like, dude, if you'd have seen what we did to hang out with girls in college, yeah, that's yeah. Zumba is an upgrade, son. You yeah, know, let, you'd have, yeah, I'd have been all over the class. Let me know. Let me know if we need to get some Zumba pants. I mean, hey. <laughs> so I think I think a lot of what we wore back in the day were pretty close to Zumba. Yeah. 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 You ever had that uh, Zumba zebra? Did you have zebra pants? No, man. No. no oh, don't, don't talk like I've seen some of the things you wore. I mean, <laughs> don't, 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 I've don't, never had parachute pants or anything like that. Uh, uh, I, I don't think I, I, I have like a tr like a uh, my dad's overcoat, this big long black jacket that I used to wear, which is um, yeah, I guess like a uh, you could hit a machine gun under it. You know, I yeah, that, that I remember though, I remember that look. Uh, I don't think I had technically parachute. I don't because it wasn't parachute material, but they were kind of we all wore some baggy thing, had a lot of pockets on it. I remember that. A lot, a lot of pockets, the Z Cavariccis. And I had pink tennis shoes uh, I know you had for a, lot a long of time, stuff. which I still have. Yeah, you were, yeah, you, you, you were, that was your, I, you that were a bit. my lane, man. Yeah, it was your, <laughs> it was your, <laughs> I don't know what my lane was. Well, it was, I was just trying, I'm just trying everything. I also had a members only jacket back oh. when I was, you know, when there were very few members in the club. Uh, man I, I was i was i think I, I don't know if it was a gift or if i bought my own the first a dude i i i would i'd wear the thing in july in louisiana <laughs> i mean when i when i got my members only jacket it didn't matter what other clothes i had it was gonna have a members only jacket it was yeah oh, yeah that was those things were tight I know the people now are thinking back, but oh, we love those we love members only man members only has come back and gone and come back again I've got a, I still have a couple, uh, in, in a closet. Just cause I mean, you don't, you don't throw that away. I'm right. sorry. You, I have you, a box in the attic labeled Juan's fashion retro. Um, <laughs> uh, it's got the old shoes and you know, a couple of ass pairs of acid wash jeans. And you and I both, <laughs> I didn't realize this. We both have an artifact 
from our old uh, stomping, stomping ground. ground, man. And I, I, you had to have that made, right? Yeah, somebody actually had some party, like a reunion party, probably for, for the Iron six Horse years ago. The horse. Um, I didn't go to the party, but I got the T-shirt. Man, so I, so the friend of mine, the the one, actually, interestingly, the one that used to Don Johnson out uh, when we take, we uh, reunited last year, I think it was, um, and had dinner in Thibodeau and we we're just hanging out. He had always talked about doing this and I thought he was kidding, but he wasn't. So we weren't, we, we weren't dressed super nice, but we were dressed like adults, you know, we were dressed like, you know, <laughs> you didn't and, have your iron horse. No, on. no. I just, we went to dinner to catch up. And then on the way out, uh, we drive by the old site of where the iron horse was. And for those, for those that aren't familiar, it was, it was a, a was it would you call it a nightclub it was a it was i mean a bar but a dance club sort of kind of club yeah the uh, had dj but also had live music so yeah yeah, yeah it, it was, was it was and it was I, disco, it was but, it, yeah. it wasn't a disco but it was just uh, it, we it was it was our place and we'd always talked about it was, it's torn down now it's just it's a, it's um a slab it's a slab looks tiny compared to yeah that's right? the oddest part to go right. walk around there and try to figure out what was where well we showed up and uh because he talked about doing it and uh, he's driving his truck and we get out and he's got a hammer and i'm thinking this is going to be interesting and we went out and got souvenirs of the what was i think the dance floor that was the dance floor man yeah marble right in front of the dj booth uh, so I still think the best thing was when you pulled it out to show me, thinking I would never ever guess what it was. And you had one. I, I instantly knew what it was because I have one. Yeah, great, so, uh, great, great minds falter alike, I guess. Yeah, but, and uh, that's a sign of getting older, man. When you like, your favorite places are now slabs of concrete, and you still enjoy them. Yeah, I walked around looking, you know, thinking about. Let's see, where were we when I, I actually tried to find the restroom where the restrooms used to be? There are two, one. On we're getting deep side. in the weeds well, now about. Yeah, no, I don't know. I don't know. I just remember they always had ice in the trough. That's it classic. Kills the smell. That's classic. <laughs> that's a that's a sign. That's a sign of class. Mm. Okay, that, that that's a that's a seg into. Now we talk about you know, joys about getting older. I'm always amazed at certain things, memories that I remember from 50 years ago. Like, you know, you 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 forget entire years of your life. You you forget long, but there are certain in, you know instances, incidents that from I mean kindergarten that you can just remember. Not whole days, but you remember. Mm -hmm. And one was one one was was this really bringing up the the urinal. So uh, first day of, of, I guess, pre it's kindergarten and you go and to see the school, school hasn't started yet. You go to, you know, meet the teacher and look, learn the grounds. And I'm with my mom and my mom's bringing me around. So we're learning this, learning that. And then outside of the, um, of the cafeteria, there's a big fountain with water, you know, just, just really pretty fountain. This is where everybody <laughs> washes their hands and walking around. Then we walk into the men's room. And I didn't know it at the time. Apparently, my mom was not very familiar with what's what's going on in the men's room, which is a, you know, it's a good sign. You know, it's a, but so in the men's room or the boys' room at, at the elementary school, there was this long urinal. The trough. The trough. It's a long trough with water running. Mm -hmm. I'm five, man. I, I, I walk in, look around. This is going to be the bathroom. Okay, good, good. And I look, I see this thing, and I was like. Mom, what's that? <laughs> Babe, I think that's where you wash your hands. <laughs> so thankfully, thankfully, <laughs> I didn't I didn't need to wash my hands at that moment. <laughs> but when school started, first time I walked into that that bathroom, I was mortified. <laughs> wanting oh, to wanting to correct these idiots. <laughs> what are you guys doing? pee in where we're supposed to wash our hands but i didn't i kind of realized oh maybe maybe and, mom was wrong and i was also extremely I actually years later I'm, I'm grateful to whoever it was that was actually going to the bathroom when i walked in because had they not been 
and I'd have gone about my business with other people. I would have walked over to this urinal and washed my hands. <laughs> and dude, I promise you to this day, they'd be calling me like pee hands or they just, they just slapped me with a nickname that I would never, cause you never lose those. <laughs> and, 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 and back in the day, they didn't care about your feelings when they gave you a nickname. No, no, that was half of the fun of it. And, 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 and you kept it forever. So, so I, I'm kind of grateful that those guys kept me from that hor horrific. You know. <laughs> so but, do you think about that whenever you go into a restroom? No, I've learned my lesson. <laughs> Funny stuff, and I always think about discipline. Basically, you know how my parents disciplined me versus how I discipline my kids. That you know, you'll hear stories that say, you know, that sense, you know, the, your sense of smell is really the, yeah. the greatest scent of or the you know, source of a reminder. Memories, of, yeah. It'll, it'll, it, it's for it's, me yeah. though. It's like it's sound. If ever you unbuckle your belt and just pull that sucker out of the loops, you know that. <sighs> sound as it made <laughs> was that as, uh was, yeah i was a little disciplined at my house you up. take some belts oh dude yeah i took <laughs> so i deserve some belts <laughs> the, this is and i still you know my mom rest her soul this is my oldest son is 28 so he was probably three years old and it was we were at her house and it was time to leave and he was you know pitching a fit like a three-year-old sure. laying down throwing himself around so i basically just calmly picked him up and, you know kind of held him and walked into the car i look over my mother is visibly weeping so you're gonna hurt him you're gonna hurt him i said this from the woman who basically would tag me with a belt at the drop of a hat <laughs> you, so, you, know, you stood by you stood by my dad be, you know, yeah, yeah you know yeah. i got in trouble once growing up for getting bit by a horse well, that was your own yeah. fault. Yeah. That was your own yeah. fault. <laughs> we had, yeah, I grew up on a, a sugar farm. We had a pasture and uh, a friend of my dad's uh, name is LC. And I think that's his name, not his initials. Uh, <laughs> okay, so okay. he had a horse in there. It was kind of wild. Uh, so we weren't supposed to go around the horse. Yeah, but for you know, a while, I'd feed it carrots at the fence or get it you know, sugar. And then I'd yeah, start going in there with it. Well, one day I'm in there and kind of petting it on the neck. And I guess I scared that sucker. And he reared up and came down with his mouth on my shoulder, knocked me on the ground. My cousin was with me. And, you know, I look up and the horse is rearing up again. And my cousin's like halfway to the house by now, leaving me to get stomped. And you know, Thank God. Don't, don't tell anybody, don't tell anybody. And about two weeks later, my mom comes, you know, take off your shirt. I think, you know, so I had like, you know, four big horse molar uh, scars on my shoulder. Oh, so you manned up. You didn't even tell him you got I bit. No, man. Yeah, I took that. <sighs> yeah, we did those kind of things. We did. Yeah. Uh, got to be careful because you'd be confessing to things right now. I mean, mom, my mom's still around. I got to be careful what uh, what I what I confess to. But yeah, horses terrify. have always terrified me. Just just because any animal that can hurt you without meaning to. Right. I, I, I just I'm sort of that way with cows a little, you know, we, <laughs> we pulled, I pulled the stupid one once that, so we were again, cousins. And that, that's, you ever notice a lot of your, a lot of stories, you, you know, when you talk about this knucklehead thing we did or Cuyons, oh man, you know, that was a Cuyon episode, right? Well, it, it was with, with cousins. I and, think on the bayou, especially, and, and maybe it's other places like that, but cousins were really your first friends. Oh, exactly. It's, it's, yeah, at hundred percent. And, uh, but I remember we were once roping now, what, how, how why we had a lasso. I, I don't know. Um, you, these things you think back, well, who thought that was a good why idea? Why wouldn't you is probably a better Why question. would Right. So, so we're all, and we lived, here's, here's what's funny too. I never considered that we lived in the country because I always had this, we did, you know, I got, yeah, yeah. You lived in the country, dude, like walk outside your front door and there are cows. <laughs> you know, yeah. that's a pretty good right we had chickens okay so you're living in the country but i didn't you know when you're young you would think well it's not the city but this really isn't the country we we have a grocery store um but i remember we were roping and my cousins couldn't get something or i i, I don't know i was just 
they, they weren't doing it right or not being able to catch the post or whatever we're trying to do. And I just got cocky. Let me show you idiots how to do this. And I grab it and I, you know, a brand new rope and I threw it at the post and I missed the post. And I tell you what, I perfectly lassoed the cow that was on the <laughs> other side of the post. I mean, just Roy Rogers would have went, man, spot. So then this cow, right, takes off with our rope. And that's when you have that, that moment of, okay, what do we do? We'll get in trouble for roping Mr. My brand new rope. <laughs> My brand new rope. <laughs> it was Mr. What's his name? On, I think it was Oni Das. Good guy. Great guy. He was always a nice guy. But so I'd have gotten in trouble for, for roping that. So geniuses, all of us, why don't you go get the rope? And uh, three or four 10 year olds trying to catch a cow to get the rope. I mean, it was, that was the, the, the fact none of us were trampled to death. Right. Cause that, that that's when you think back how that story would have gone or like, well, how'd you get trampled? Why are we in the yard? Well, I get my rope back, you know, but yeah, it was, well, it was, uh, yeah. you didn't want to get a lot close. of parents today, you know, they'd have killed the cow for taking your rope. It'd have been the cow's fault. That's one of those things, those memories, those weird memories you get when you were a kid, second grade, I uh, finished my work before I guess I was supposed to, or I had it done. And I turned around to walk to the back of the room to, cause I'd always get in trouble for talking and stuff after. So I just learned, to, yeah, no, I'd get, but in the second grade, I remember this like it was yesterday. And I get up to walk to the back of the room while everybody else is still doing the work. And <laughs> my teacher was picking her nose. And that image has stayed with me for, <laughs> It, it, I don't know why it wasn't particularly gross. It wasn't, it was just <laughs> she was aggressively picking her nose. <laughs> Did you call her out? She, I didn't have to. I think she, she, you know, it's one of those, what are you doing, David? <laughs> yeah. What are Blame you doing? You. What are you doing? <laughs> right. Did this image will stay with me literally for the rest of my life. And My first job, right? My first job where you get a you know actual paycheck, not mowing grass, mowing grass mm -hmm. for relatives. I was a meat room assistant uh, at a at a place called Frank's, Frank's, Frank's IGA. I think we call it IGA. Mr. Frank was a great guy, a cool guy. And I think I'm a junior in high school or something. And my mom or somebody came back and said, "Hey, there's an ad, there's an ad at uh, at Frank's for whatever, meat room assistant, butcher assistant, whatever." And, in my head, I thought, I hoped it meant bag boy. I hoped it meant stock boy. <laughs> That's what I'm hoping. I'm hoping they just, you know, they just call it that, but it's mostly going to be stocking or no. And and I went and applied and thankfully gave me the job. And then I was um, told, yeah, we'll start tomorrow. And no, you're going to be cleaning the meat room actually, and, and, and doing various things. And I was okay with, with burgers and stuff like that. But for some reason, for some reason, I always had this thing about chicken. I don't like handling chicken. I just don't like, you know, just, just a, just a, uh, just a big old raw chicken is I, yeah, I don't, you know, I don't want to be, a, so I'm just thinking to myself, okay, as long as I don't have to deal with that, this ought to be, I mean, I'm at my hand. I swear this I have. And before I go in, okay, I can do the burgers. I can do that. Just complete man. I just don't want to have to deal with chickens. The first job, first day on the job, the first 15 minutes on the job, they had me go into a freezer and come out with a big old box of chickens. Uh, and chicken and, stuff is nasty. Oh, man. Big old box. It's frozen chickens, but they're individual. And my job was to take each one out, make sure that the bag, because they come with, with the uh, gizzard and liver or whatever. So that stuff gets removed. But then they put it they, they, back in the day. They put it back in a little bag and shove it back in the chicken. <laughs> So if you got a if you got a box with say twenty five chickens, the worst thing was when I look down and see two or three of those bags <laughs> floating around. Somebody's missing something. Oh, because man, I just didn't want to have to do not only have to mess with these chickens, but do full body cavity searches of these things. So that's what I'm doing. My first. Oh yeah, yeah, and I'm and, and you have then you have to bag them, weigh them, right, and put the label on them and and. And I do remember one time I was kind of lazy. I, I, I got the, and I was, I was usually a con, very conscientious worker, but I got the box 
and there was one bag loose and I just, just pretended I didn't see it. I was like, I, <laughs> you know, I'm just, I, I am not, cause I hated having to like dig in the chair. I'm just, just, I'm not going to, well, man, lo and behold, like three days later, Mr. Frank standing there with a customer and she was upset. She they have chicken gizzards. <laughs> her, her, her chicken was missing the gut bag, whatever, you know. And then he said, you know, well, take care of her, Dave, whatever, whatever, whatever. And I was like, man. And I went, I can't believe it. I went and grabbed another box and there were like two or three bags, two or three bags. Left. And I just bagged them and gave them to her. So I, <laughs> some fresh guts. I gave her three new, you would have thought I'd given her a $5 bill. She was so, oh, thank you. And, 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 and part of me is thinking, did, did you stop cooking the chicken you were cooking to come to the store to say, what happened to my bag of guts? But, uh, you know, and it's like, but I tell you what, I never did that. <laughs> Oh, yeah, body cavities, chicken, body yeah, cavities, the rest of them. Because well, they've got like this gel. Ah, uh, you know, looking back now, I've done, did you know the, cleaning the meat saw was worse than that, and then and on on a couple of days a week they would cut liver. All right, I got news for you. You open up a meat saw, inside of it after they've been cutting the liver, it's it's meat jello. Is basically <laughs> what it is. It's a jello. That's what I called it. I called it meat jello. I had meat jello days. Uh, in fact, the the uh, my fantasy football team for the last twenty years has been called Meat Jello. That's the name of my fantasy football team. Those things stay with you. That and I remember there was a big bottle of pickled pig's lips oh. on the um, on the counter. Huge bottle of pickled pig's lips, and pig's lips are huge. You would not look. You know, you look at a pig, you think, oh, pig's lips are massive. And that was the one thing I said that if ever two things. If ever someone, and thankfully the whole time I worked there, nobody walked up to the counter while I was there and wanted to buy, because <laughs> you, 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 you literally sold them individually. If somebody yeah. wanted to buy pickled pig's lips, you had to open the jar, and I guess they would tell you which ones they wanted. Like a I, lobster. <laughs> I'm just like, man, I, I said, I'm not doing that. And I and I made the comment, and I wasn't even kidding. I said, if anybody ever knocks that jar <laughs> onto the floor, I'm out of here. I quit. Uh, you don't even have to, you know, don't, don't, don't even pay me severance. I'm gone. I'm not, I'm not doing that, but. Yeah. It, meat floating in a jar is just not appetizing. It, you know. What about yourself? Any bad jobs? No. Nah, in high school, I mean, I, my dad, like I said, was a sugar farmer. So basically, you know, I had to go work out in the field and he was that type of where he wanted to make sure that um, I didn't, it didn't feel like I was getting any favorable treatment the, because I was his son. So That's I got right. the unfavorable treatment. Uh, and, but there are no labor I, laws. There are no labor laws about what they, I, you talk oh, to no. anybody who used to work for their parents and they say, that's one of the rough things about working for your parents is there are labor laws to protect actual employees. Not you no. brother. No, <laughs> you take your $2 an hour and you'd be glad about it. <laughs> I hadn't thought about this in years. We were working on a catwalk within a plant, plant in Donaldsonville by the Sunshine Bridge. And so I'm standing on this catwalk for hours, like three floors up. And I'm basically target spitting to the ground <laughs> and seeing how big a pool can I make down on the bottom? Yeah, mm -hmm. Can I keep hitting the same spot? I was like the world champion of the Olympic target spitting, man. So you were you were management material yeah i was i was and then i was probably like 16 doing that and so you know you're driving home with these older crazy welder guys who of course yeah you know, every day we pull off and get an eight pack of miller ponies for the ride home i uh, different times i remember riding in the back of a truck with uh friends for biddy basketball that's what we had biddy it was you know, other other parts of the country called their basketball different i, I was biddy basketball eight year old mm -hmm. nine year old all-star team. I remember this all-star team. We had a tournament somewhere and this friend, his dad, the, the, the truck. The, so the mom and the dad in the front of the truck. And then we had, they had to cover one of these campers, but the back of that truck was just a bear. It was just metal. It was, it was, you know, covered. It wasn't air conditioned. It was just, yeah. right? <laughs> you just had, you were in a hot box. Ain't no seatbelts. You know, it wasn't hot. It was a nice day, whatever. But, but I mean, we, we, no seatbelts just hanging out back there. I think they might've thrown a blanket down there. You can sort of sit down. I guess you could, it was, it was high enough that we could sit up, but uh, Galliano cutoff area to New Orleans is not a short ride. It's a little bit. Did that, played a tournament. I remember on the way back, he pulls, we, he pulls into a, a, a store 
and they got us some snacks, which was great, but he got himself one of those big old. <laughs> what is a 40 ounce. Yeah, he got himself a 40. And, and that wasn't to bring home, right? So, <laughs> there's like a window, a sliding window between the truck and, and us in the back. And, and he's going down there and, and just, just, you know, enjoying, enjoying life uh, as he would, drinking a 40 with two kids back there. And we got no problem. Young with parents, not an example to follow. And then here's what I vividly remember. My friend says, dad, dad, when you're done, do that thing. You know what that thing was? He hit a sign with it. <laughs> so here we are. You we worry about parenting and chauffeuring this and watching. Man, I was a I'm coming back from a basketball tournament in the back of a truck with a guy who just killed a 40 <laughs> and probably nailed it. Man. Oh, he did. He did, man. It was definite thud, scatter. <laughs> What was your first as a child? I went uh, Louisiana Rue. Oh, Louisiana Larue opened up for Kansas. Uh, the it was oh. the Centerplex. I think it was 1977. Uh, for a total of twenty dollars, I bought my ticket and a Kansas T-shirt and a Larue T-shirt. For twenty dollars. Twenty dollars, man. T good, ticket, good stuff. Can't man. I think the ticket was like seven bucks. Now Larue, Larue was good. People, a lot of people they're don't still know. They're playing, man. They're, I just saw they're playing the Thibodeau Fair. No. Yeah, no. in October. So how many times in the evening you think they're going to do New Orleans Ladies? That's <laughs> like three times? That's usually what happens, right? You, I you think they really got a new, you know, a recent studio album out. Um, it's keep, not keep all working the original it, man. players, hey. but, you know, some of them. God, God love them. Uh, LaRue in Kansas. God, Kansas... Yeah. Kansas came to town and I couldn't, I was out of town. Um, it was, well, not last year, again, 2020, nobody did anything, but the year before, and I wasn't there and I so would have loved to see Kansas. Kansas is amazing. My first oh. concert, my first concert, Sonny and Cheryl. Oh, wow. <laughs> I was a kid. I was like uh, six, seven, whatever. Sonny and Cheryl. And again, the, mem the memories you have, because it's, it's in you, because they had, they had a TV show, they were huge. And I remember you know, the bottom pants municipal, municipal auditorium, you know, they say we're young and we don't know. I remember that. I remember watching the song, man. They were awesome. And the warm up act was David Brenner. Oh, wow. Me and David Brenner. Yeah, I, I he was, died, didn't he? I think he did. I think he did. Yeah. Uh, we, um, and I'm trying to think, I don't know that I went to another con. I don't think I went to another concert till I was in high school and that was Judas Priest. So oh, gosh, that was a, that was a jump, right? From Sonny and Jer to Judas, Judas Priest. But we didn't have dances, right? We really didn't. We had a prom. And the reason we didn't have dances was because nobody would stay for the dance. Everybody, the majority of people were probably drinking in the parking lot or behind the, it became an issue. Like they just said, we can't have dances around here, you know, because of the trouble. And then the same with our proms, people showed up for the prom and took their pictures and typically blew out of there. 10, 15 minutes, maybe half an hour later, heading to Grand Isle, heading to, you know, and thinking back that now, I'd be like, well, my kids, I'd be, are you, you are, no, 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 you out of your mind? No, <laughs> no, no, no. I want uh, at my kids' school, you're locked in at the dance. Well, they started that. There. You've got to be there by a certain time and you can't leave until it's over. We, my school didn't have dances The for some very regrettable reasons, which I won't go into <laughs> here because it's, you know, some of the things that I'm probably most embarrassed about, about you know, where I went to high school. Um, but we organized our own dances. Yeah, you know, we like had- Like Footloose. We, we raised money. Uh, I told people that at my high school, you couldn't hold your date's dance or hand when you were walking into the dance because she was holding the other side of the ice chest. <laughs> So we rented places. Typically, the kids who had graduated the year before were the chaperones. Sure. Um, Adults. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, so at my school, you know, if you got caught with a beer at prom, yeah, 
they didn't throw you out. Heck, they didn't even take the beer away. <laughs> you <know? laughs> it was asked you to share. Hey, finish that. Finish that. Yeah, Would you yeah. just, you know, and that might be an overstatement for, for, yeah. <laughs> for, for anybody who chaperoned our... Um... <laughs> All right. <laughs> so this is about the time of the evening that we try, we, we push the button and see if any of this stuck to tape. And yeah, that's, uh, hope. that's hope. You know, my well, stomach's growling. It's dinner time. It's dinner time, time, time to go. So uh, that said, thanks everybody for tuning in. Uh, please feel free to reach out to us at Dave and Juan at protonmail.com. Send us um, uh, suggestions, ideas, pictures, suggestions for what you thought, what you, yeah, what you liked. You got what a cool. If you, if you got a cool, you need to call out, let yeah. us know. We'll do, we'll do that too. Yeah. And, uh, but until Share then, we'll the yeah, we hope everybody has a fantastic week, and uh, we're going to see you next Monday. Next Monday. Love you, man. Peace. Back at you.